morning in the forest and moose was out looking for a snack. I'm hungry and three bucks are good to me. As he searched for a yummy tree, he tripped and bumped his head on one. Ouch! He bumped his tooth. These big teeth of mine are always getting in the way. With his tongue, he felt around <coughs> the inside of his mouth. Ooh! I have a loose tooth. I can move it back and forth with my tongue. Moose had never had a loose tooth before. <coughs> Do you have a loose tooth, Moose? <coughs> yes, and I'm afraid it's going to fall out. That's what baby teeth do. Baby teeth buy another baby. Baby teeth are the first teeth in your mouth. As you grow up, they start to fall out. But if I lose all my teeth, how will I eat tree bark? When a baby tooth falls out, a permanent tooth comes in. That new tooth will stay in your mouth forever. Oh, that makes me feel better. So how do I get this, this wibbly wobbly tooth? I could use my feet to pull it out. Ferda pulled with all his might, but that tooth just held on tight. Did I use something about a loose tooth? Did I hear something about a loose tooth? Yes, I have a wibbly wobbly loose tooth. Let me help it. Bird pulled, bird used his beak, and tiger pulled bird. They pulled with all their might, but that tooth just held on tight. That is one stubborn tooth you have, Moose. Oh, this tooth will never fall out. Did I hear something about the <laughs> tooth? Yes, I have a wobbly, wobbly loose tooth. Let me help them. I'll pull on Tiger and Tiger can pull on Bird and Bird can use her big beak to yank it out. Once again, they pulled with all their might, but that tooth just held on tight. That is one stubborn tooth you have, Moose. Maybe I'll never lose this baby tooth. Did I hear something about a loose tooth? Yes, you did. Moose has a very loose but very stubborn tooth. Do you want to help? Sure, I can help. You all pull. Wait, I don't think we should pull anymore because what am, what am I going to do with, with, with the tooth when it comes out? Anyway, my tooth has the perfect spot right now in my mouth. But, Mim, you have to put your tooth under your pillow. What? Why? Haven't you heard of the tooth fairy? If you put your tooth under your pillow, she will come in the middle of the night to take your tooth and leave you a present in its place. I bet she never seen a vicious tooth before. Why did, well, why didn't you say that earlier? Eve hope, everybody. So one final time, they all pulled with all their might, but that wibbly wobbly tooth still held the time. I give up. You can have one of my tusk moose. No, thank you, Elephant. Wait, Elephant, you are coming with me. Moose took Elephant home to his house and put him under his pillow. Nighty night, elephant, and no snoring. The next morning, after a bumpy night's sleep, Moose woke up and found elephant still asleep. With up, elephant, I want to see if the tooth fairy came. Under his pillow were five shiny quarters, one for bird, tiger, zebra, and 
elephant to thank them for helping Moose. The nut says, your tooth will soon fall out, Moose. Just, just, just place it under your pillow and I'll be back. So that's how the tooth fairy works. Then I think I have a loose tusk. Ah, uh, two. The end.